Hi, and welcome to this first vlog in the course 1DV525 Introduction to Web Programming. Um, I This is a format that we use quite a lot in Calmar for our courses that we do like a summary each week over uh, what has happened this week, uh, common errors, uh, and what to expect of next week. Uh, I, I wasn't able to do this last Friday, so I released this, this one uh, uh, this Wednesday, uh, the second week of the course. Uh, but I hope I will catch up and have one, one vlog each week. Especially a week like this, where I were supposed to have a lecture in Vecqua today, but instead I've come up with an alternative plan, and that is that you are supposed to, as I wrote in Slack, you're supposed to watch this one, um, the third lecture in the course, uh, which ta is starting out with JavaScript. Uh, I will get back to this later, but uh, you're supposed to watch this lecture this week, and the next week we will have uh, lecture four, but that will be in Växjö uh, on campus, and I will record that one. Uh, and that's because this one is since 2016, so I didn't have this lecture last year. Uh, so I will alternate, al alternate in the, uh, those lectures. Um, it will, I mean, it's one lecture, but it will probably be more like two or maybe even three hours uh, in length, so we will uh, need to have the lecture both before lunch and after lunch, but if, if we if we end early I will be able to be on uh, in the lecture room and we could have a discussion if you have questions or if you want help with something uh, right there. Otherwise, if you need help, please use Slack, uh, a lot of you uh, do. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to go through what, where you sh you're supposed to be right now and, and help those of you who, who hasn't get started yet getting started. So, right now I had those two lectures last week, the HTML and, uh, lecture and the CSS lecture, and you have all the study materials uh, and references. Uh, on the course webpage. Uh, so this is leading up to the first assignment in the course, the first examination assignment, uh, and you're supposed to start doing this uh, examination assignment right away. So many of you have started, those of you who haven't, please do. Uh, the deadline is the 21st of uh, September, so next week somewhere, I guess. Uh, and it's, it's important that you do that now, because uh, the other parts, the second and the third parts in the course are quite heavy, it's a lot of information, and you will need to work really hard on those. So, so if, if you can finish this examination assignment early and go on uh, the second part, that is a, a real bonus. You will, you will appreciate that in the end of the course. Um, I've got questions. Is, is JavaScript necessary for this assignment? No, it's not. Uh, it's just that those Java 1 and 2 are like, JavaScript 1 and 2 are like prerequisites for this second part. And this second part is, is, uh, is a, a common module for, for several courses. So I had to squeeze in the JavaScript 1 and 2 in, into the first part. So, so part 2 and part 3 is also uh, utilized by students in Kalmar. That's why I couldn't order it under, under the second part. And uh, what more? Well, let's get started. So first of all, when you start a course, there are some, some things with every course that is important, and that is that you register on the course. If you don't register on the course, uh, I can't generate resources, for instance. So that's that's number one. Then you can follow this getting started guide after you watch the course, introdu course introduction. Uh, and this is to get you started with Git and GitHub. So Git is the, the, the versioning handling system that we use for this course. Uh, and it's really necessary uh, 
many of you have worked with Git before and that you don't need a new GitHub account or anything. If you have a GitHub account, you can use the one you have. Uh, if you're new to Git and GitHub, uh, follow these steps carefully and try to read on and watch tutorials to get started. Uh, one important step is that you register your GitHub account in CoursePress. So you visit this profile page, uh, you make sure you're logged in and you enter your GitHub username here. Uh, remember your GitHub username. We already got your your LNU uh, account, but we, we need a GitHub user ID so we could connect your the repositories that you will get from us to your account. So this is a key step. Uh, after this, I have some kind of manual uh, um, process for, for generating everything. Uh, so, so you need to halt after step five. Uh, but when I've generated your accounts and you visit github.com slash 1db525, you will probably see not as much as I do in this case. Uh, I see all of your repositories. Uh, but you would see something like this. You will see your username and exercises, your username and examination 1, examination 2 and examination 3. Um, and if you do, everything has worked. Uh, the first time though, you will need to accept an invitation to this page. Uh, you will have it like a yellow box on top. Uh, starting out with the first uh, examination assignment, you should enter this one uh, and you can copy this uh, uh, URL. You are probably using HTTPS as the preferred authentication method. Uh, then you copy this URL. In my case, I'm using SSH keys, uh, uh, so I will copy this one. Then you need to go to uh, the terminal uh, or console. Uh, we'll do like, like that, and I could make it bigger, like that. Um, I will do this in test I guess. Uh, that's just a folder where I will try this out uh, and I will do a git clone and that URL. Uh, now it's cloning uh, the f empty repository from github to my local computer. So, so if I were to have files on github those would be downloaded as well. But in this case it says oh apparently apparently you've cloned an empty repository. However it's cloned so I can do a cd tstjo student examination one and, and enter that library. However you don't need to do that. You could uh, instead switch to Visual Studio Code. That is the uh, IDE we will use for this course. So I will switch to Visual Studio Code and I will do file open um, and I will navigate to that folder where I did the clone test and then we had TSTO student examination one and I will open this folder. So when I do I see all the files in that folder empty right now and I could also use uh, a terminal window uh, inside of Visual Studio Code. And this is quite neat because then you could you are always in the right folder and you could utilize your git commands for instance in this folder. And we will have a look at that. So first off I will like start to make a basic HTML page. Uh, I could right click or click on this one, create a new file, index.html, like that. And then in this type, in, in this file, I could write all the, uh, uh, yeah, no, the HTML code we need. Uh, insert the doc type, uh, for instance, this one, doc, doc, doc type HTML, uh, create an HTML element, uh, create a head, <coughs> inside of that one, create a body, missing some uh, uh, yeah, lang attribute for instance in this 
this case English. Uh, we will have a title on this page named my first page. Uh, and we do a paragraph in the body, hello world of course, and save that one. Uh, now you'll see that this one changes to green. We have a one here indicating that we have one, un un one unhandled file in Git. Uh, however, you can use this tool. I, do I don't recommend you to do that though, because this is like clicking a lot of buttons and you can click the wrong button. However, if you learn the commands, in whatever environment you are, you can always utilize those commands. So, so we will do that instead. One command is git status. Git status will show us uh, the status of our git, git repository. And in this case, it says that we have one untracked file. So index.html is not tracked by, by git. So we need to add it uh, and add it to be, 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 be uh, tracked and you see the commands, uh, you get a lot of hints uh, in, in the console. So I will do a git add dot, that will add all the files, uh, in this case only index.html. I could specify index.html as well. Git add git status. Oh, we have a new file, however this file is only staged to be committed, it's not committed yet, and commit is like this point in history where we can write a message and we can always go back to that point in, in this files or my project's history. Uh, and I will do, do a commit, git commit minus m to be able to, to set a message. Uh, and I will do initial, uh, initial. This is the, the initial commit. Uh, okay, so it's added. I can do git status. We are, the working uh, branch is clear, everything is fine. I have an index.html that is not no longer green. Uh, however, it's still on my local computer. All the git, git add git commit only makes commits on my computer. Uh, so it's not on GitHub. So if I were to, to go to GitHub, reload this page, it will still be empty. Uh, going back, we can do a git push. Uh, and what this will do is to push this repository up to GitHub. Whoop, done. And we will visit GitHub, I reload. And now you can see we have the index.html here. It says initial, that is that commit. You can see all the changes I did in that commit. Uh, and you can see the commit history here. I only have one now, but that will grow uh, um, when we when we work with this. Uh, okay, so first of all, just just a short reminder: when should you do a commit? I mean, you you will probably not do a commit as often as you save the page because you save the page when you want to like try to to watch it uh, or see what what happened. Uh, however, a commit is is a good way. See see a commit as as solving a problem. So, uh, okay, your problem now is to, to add video to this page, for instance. And you, you try that, and, and, and when you're done, you're like, okay, I solved the video uh, problem. And then you can make a commit saying solving video issue or adding video or something like that. So uh, that is kind of a good resolution for git commits. Um, Okay, so, so how do I watch the file? Do I need GitHub pages? No. So you can watch a simple HTML file uh, just by, by opening it in, in the browser. Uh, in this case, I will find the file uh, and I will just double click it, opening it in, in uh, uh, Chrome and it says hello world. So this is, I mean, for, for local development, this is quite a neat way to do it. However, when we get into to later parts in the course, when we have certain JavaScript uh, being run, you will need to have a server serving those pages and doing live reloads and things. We will get into that in the next part. But this is a good start. Perfect, so we have the hello world. How to, to publish this on GitHub then, or GitHub pages? So uh, I need to, when, when, when you've done your first commit and pushed it, to GitHub, you need to tell me, just send me a message on Slack and say, oh, my first commit is done. 
what I need to do, because you are not an administrator of your repository, I need to go into settings on your repository and activate GitHub Pages, because this cannot be activated until you've made your first commit. Um, so I will activate GitHub Pages. We will get a URL. Uh, it's, this is explained in, in the course webpage. And I will visit this URL. It will probably not work now. It could take a couple of minutes before it's, it's active, so we will just leave it. Uh, but uh, in a couple of minutes we will be up and running, hopefully. Let's see if it's any faster than that. Yeah. Now, now we have it published. I can probably remove the index.html. Should be able to, at least. I, I, I shouldn't need to specify uh, that it is. Uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. Then. Oh, okay. I, I shouldn't need to specify index.html. It should be automatic if, since I'm in the root folder. But, well, it will start to work soon, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's ba basically it. And then you can add folders, you can add your CSS files and, and start working with the page and, and fulfilling the requirements of the assignment. So that, that's basically it for the first assignment. Um, always make sure to do a lot of commits. Uh, don't, if you're working on, on two computers, you, you can set it up so that you, uh, do the same thing, you clone your repository from GitHub to the next computer and then you can edit files in that one. However, make sure that you, when you're done, you push those to GitHub and the first thing you do when you get to the other computer is to do a git pull, that is the opposite of push. So you pull all changes that are on GitHub that you don't have on your local machine. Uh, would be, for instance, if, you shouldn't do this, but I could demonstrate it anyway. So, so if I were to uh, go to my repository, uh, click on index.html and do an edit on GitHub, changing this to hello world from GitHub uh, and saving. And you see, in this case, I don't save the file, I commit a change. So this says update index.html, commit directly to the master branch, commit changes, and I, I will do this. So on GitHub uh, right now, we have two commits. However, if I were to look at my, my uh, local machine, I still have the hello world in this file. So, so what I need to do now is to do a git pull to pull the changes from GitHub. And you will see it will find the changes and it will update to GitHub in this case. Okay, that is getting started with the course. Uh, it's nothing more to it. Let's just start working with the assignment and ask questions in the Slack 1db525 or in topic HTML because there is a topic, there is a channel called topic HTML CSS. You can ask questions in that one as well and then you will get answers from not only students on this course but all the students we have right now and even students that are working in the industry right now. So, so that is a good way of getting even more specialized help. And, of course, you're free to ask me as well, but please try to, to, to ask questions in the, in the course Slack instead of asking me personally. You can also use, of course, the uh, on Friday we have this uh, tutoring pass. Uh, just go into, get, uh, go into Slack and we will post an instruction of how to, to get called over Slack. And we will call you and share screen and we could resolve any issues you have. Uh, after that, we will start off with lectures C 3 and 4. Um, and this is not in the client side JavaScript uh, uh, part, it's just JavaScript in... I mean, what I'm talking about in, in the third lecture is just JavaScript, the language. Not, not specifically for the web browser or anything else, you can use JavaScript just like Java in many different environments. So those two lectures are to get you up to speed with the syntax and the language JavaScript. After that, uh, we will get into the transition to part two and 
to the client and the client in this case being the, uh, the browser uh, and we will start using the browser APIs. But the first two lectures is only to, to learn and bridge uh, and learn the, the language JavaScript. Uh, however, I think you can actually, when you've watched those first lectures, you can start with the exercises in the course and th th these are JavaScript exercises. You get the information on how to get started uh, with this. I've actually recorded a demo as well uh, for, the, for those. Um, there are instructions here. This is this will create a, a, um, a server on your computer, so, so you will work against that computer. Uh, but this is explained here. And you can start with this exercise Tiny Tunes. It's just an exercise in the language, more or less. Uh, oh, actually, it says DOM. So, so, so you need some, some knowledge of, uh, actually of, of, of uh, uh, the DOM. Uh, and that is the first lecture in, in client-side JavaScript. Uh, you can watch it on forehand or you can just get started with exercises and, 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 and just experiment with JavaScript. But there are a lot of exercises and I will go through this as time comes and I've done a lot of recordings and I've done new recordings that are not visible here yet uh, of how to structure your code in an even better way than we did uh, when, when last year. Um, but that's pretty much it. I, I, I will get back to that next week. So for you now, where, where should you be in the course right now? I, I hope you are, have created and started working with HTML and CSS. You've made your first commit. You can view your page on GitHub pages. Let's see if it's working. Yeah, now it is. Hello from GitHub. Uh, so, so every time I get do a push to GitHub, uh, it will reflect in, in GitHub Pages as well and showing the new page on, on GitHub Pages. Uh, you should probably have come a little bit further than me in this case. You should probably have organized most of the HTML and, and links and, and pages and be struggling a bit with uh, CSS right now. Uh, and I, if I were you, I would try to be done with this assignment early next week. Uh, even though the deadline is late next week. But that, that is pretty much it. And please, please, please watch lecture three before Wednesday, because if you don't, you will be totally lost on next Wednesday's lecture. So please do. Okay. Uh, and I basically think that is it. Um, any questions? Use Slack and I'll see you next week.